Hi, I'm back with my guest, Mark Harris, whose book, Five Came Back, has really served as our Bible for this month's Spotlight programming. Mark, welcome back. Thanks so much, Ben. We just watched The Diary of Ed Frank. Uh, George Stevens kept a lot of what he shot during the war, including the footage that he shot uh, from Dachau? He did, and it's sort of surprising. You would think that all of that stuff would have been somehow instantly and officially archived right, by the War yeah. Department. Uh, it wasn't. Stevens took it home to California, um, had it sealed up, uh, labeled the canisters very simply with words like Dachau or atrocity, and stored it in a warehouse where it stayed for years and years, in fact, until he decided to make the Diary of Anne Frank. And then he went and looked at it? He took it out. Uh, he arranged uh, a screening room. He sat down. Uh, he watched a couple of minutes of it, took it off, and never looked at it again. I certainly don't want to minimize the experience that uh, Frank Capra had or, or William Wyler had. But in, in 1946, when Capra, Wyler, and Stevens are back from the war, they go into business together and in, to make an independent film company, Liberty Films, right? right. Um, and by 1946, early 1946, uh, Capra and Weiler are, are, are making movies, movies that are now among the greatest movies of all time. Weiler with the best years of our lives and, and Capra, of course, with It's a Wonderful Life. Stevens took a long time to get going. He really did. I think he had what we would now call a form of uh, post-traumatic stress yeah. disorder. It's extraordinary that he was able to recover from his war experience and, and grow even as a director into a different kind of director. I wouldn't say that one George Stevens is better than the other George Stevens as a director, but, but he certainly had to reinvent himself as a director of drama and I think did so uh, inarguably with great success. Yeah, I, I, I said it before when we were talking, but uh, this country owes a huge debt of gratitude to, to George Stevens, and I, I hope everybody appreciates that. I know I think the people watching tonight do. I hope so. All right, Mark, thank you very much. We're done for the night, which means we're, we're done for the month. This has, been, uh, this has been a memorable experience. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ben. It's been a pleasure to do this with you. Tell people, again, sort of what the book is, and uh, they can still get it. As I, You know, let me give a little plug for it. Can I give you a plug? <laughs> Please. I just think that uh, if you love classic films or you're a World War II buff, either way, this is a book you want to read. And if you happen to be both, you're literally not going to put it down until you're done. Mark and I may be done, but our look at war films continues with the definitive feature film about the Nuremberg Trials. Stay with us. Turn our classic movies and Warner Brothers.